Alright, are you guys ready for a boner? Boner alert? What's up, everyone? And welcome to Sun with Ola 183. Dude, you might wonder why. How can he write a song like that? What was the inspiration? Well, maybe a little bit of testament right there. And also, this new guitar that I have right here. This right here is from the Chop Chop, baby. This guitar is a solo guitar's Chop Chop. You know that thing that we do a little bit of a custom work on an uh, Indonesian guitar to make it look cooler? Well, this, my friends, is the AB 1.6 Chrome Cannibal more right there. Look at that. It has like a chrome finished look to it. It's really tough to make it look cool on camera, but you have to see it in person. It's fucking amazing. And yeah, that made me write that song right there, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, I don't like to pick a favorite when it comes to favorite models uh, at solo guitars, because it's basically like uh, picking between your children, which is not okay, you know? But I'm just really happy how the AB turned out a couple years back when we released them, you know, the bolt-on A's. They're probably, I'm not gonna say my favorites, but uh, they're my favorites, <laughs> right there. That called for another pick throw, let's go. Oh, disappointment. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Son of Wifola 183. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys in the premiere are lit right now. That's the sound of you typing away. Right there. Oh, 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 what? A drum kit? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. All right, if you guys are ready, let's head into the news. It's Linkin Park coming back with a new singer. Holy shit. What a news. Obviously, everyone knows that uh, since 2017, when uh, Chester Bennington passed away, Linkin Park hasn't been a thing, right? However, there's been rumors here and there whenever Mike Shinoda, the other singer of Linkin Park, has met with his bandmates that, oh, maybe something is happening, maybe something is happening with the band. But Mike Shinoda have always shut down any type of rumors that Linkin Park would be a thing. He's just hanging with the boys, which I completely understand. I mean, just because the band has disbanded doesn't mean that you're not friends with your band members. Now, in 2024, it seems that something may very quietly be in the works. In an interview with Wired in the Empire, Orgy frontman, Jay Gordon made a comment about Linkin Park having a new vocalist. Okay, quoted, very, very cool guys and obviously a great band. It's going to be tough without Chester, but we'll see. I hear they got a girl singer now. That's what I heard. What? He can't just say that. Gordon then walked back his comment saying, don't quote me on that. Well, there you go. We quoted you on that, holy shit! And obviously internet went f***ing bananas. And since this happened, and you know, the internet reacted to this, uh, Jay Gordon has come forward again and saying like, no, 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 I have no f***ing idea what I'm saying. So, <laughs> what, what should we believe, huh? Maybe Linkin Park is coming back, and with a girl singer. Who knows? Cool! I saw this video of, uh, of Linkin Park and with Chris Cornell on vocals as well. And dude, it's so eerie, man, seeing 
both of these legends there on stage. I mean, Chris Cornell, obviously one of my favorite singers of all time. And I still think there's something wrong with my audio because it's still like very high pitched. I don't know what it is. I don't know, this just made me happy to see the other day. Mike Portnoy completes drum recordings for upcoming Dream Theater album. We're all blown away. Holy shit. Extremely excited about what we've created. Look at that face right there. That's a selfie and a half. I learned about it by watching this video from John Petrucci, which I thought was incredibly wholesome. Uh, check this out. We just completed the writing of the record and the tracking of the drums. That's beautiful. His voice is just beautiful. <laughs> but the last, the last time. <laughs> 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 right, that's so it. funny. Wow. But dude, amazing. Yeah, that little clap on the shoulder right there and hugging that just feels so wholesome right there. And it made me really excited <laughs> about the new Dream Fitter album. I'm excited. I'm excited to hear some Mike Portnoy drumming, man. Last news of the day is that Jerry Abbott, the father of Dimebag Daryl and Vinny Paul, has passed away at 80 years old. This is incredibly sad that he passed away because it's the, you know, it's the end of the Abbott line and the family because obviously, you know, Dimebag and uh, Vinny didn't have any kids. But some way it's sort of comforting as well because now finally uh, Jerry can rest in peace. I mean, he outlived his both sons and, you know, his wife and the mother of Dimebag and, and Vinnie Paul. And uh, dude, he must have been in so much pain. With that, you know, rest in peace, the Abbott family, and uh, yeah, they're all together now. Incredibly sad of how it's all ending and all that, but you know, I think that the Pantera guys, they're out there doing the tribute and all that. They're, they're, they're keeping the name alive. And I also think it's very important for us to keep, you know, Dimebag and Vinnie Paul's legacy alive. So, uh, let's just keep it going, guys. Let's go. That was the news, everyone. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. It's Friday before Easter, and it's actually uh, a holiday here in Sweden, much like in a lot of other countries as well. And uh, the office is closed. Everybody's home. Everyone has an off day. I'm here at the office anyways today uh, because I couldn't really brace myself because of this. Check this out. See what this is? That's my new drum kit. <laughs> I received this drum kit yesterday from Roland uh, and I figured I would start unboxing it and you know, have a little fun, man. I just couldn't have a day off knowing that these drums are just standing here not being opened. So uh, I'm gonna unbox all of this today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to set everything up today, but at least I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start, you know? So these drums are the VAD 706. It's basically the flagship of uh, Roland V drums. All in all, this is 115 kilos right there worth of drums. So let's just set it all up and see what happens. This, to me, looks like a kick drum. Holy shit. So this is a full-blown freaking kick drum. Look at that. In natural, obviously. Here's the snare, look at that. Hell yeah. And if you follow this far, you might wonder, Ola, why do you need another drum kit and another e-drum kit for that matter? And as you can see, these are full size for being an electronical drum kit. You know, you have these. This is my other kit that I have right here, which is like a, you know, that's how you kind of see an electronic drum kit right there. You know, with these pads and a little bit of a thinner body and the bass drum looks a little bit like that. But the reason why I'm getting this drum kit is uh, not only out of vain, you know, but getting a kit like this is uh, because I'm planning to maybe go on tour and they go out play more shows with Ola England. And for that, 
you know, I want the drums to look legit as hell. Uh, in metal, it's not that common to use an e-drum kit, but in a lot of other genres, they're already started using e-drum kits for live, and it'll make the stage a lot more quiet, and you are in way more control of everything if you're using an e-kit. I'm trying to make a small gig package where I can drive and bring these drums. Obviously, these are big, so maybe not that smart, but it still looks legit and you know there's gonna be a real drummer playing these that's one of the reasons why i'm getting a kit like this but also because you know it will kick ass in this office right here First two toms are up, and the kick drum. Now it's just a rest, but it's looking good, man, must say. So that is the drum kit assembled right there. Without well, obviously any cables connected or anything, but this is the kit right here. And uh, obviously I need to adjust a couple of things here, but uh, overall, man, dude, I think it looks absolutely sick. Oh, it's so nice to have that big snare, man. Now I have to connect everything to the mother brain of all and get some sound and noise, I guess. All right, all the cables have been connected and uh, the uh, TD50X is on, which means that I should be able to uh, play some drums. Obviously, I need to cable manage a little bit, but uh, I just want to make sure everything works before I start. So I figured that uh, for sound, I would use this Harley Benton active monitor that I once bought for, uh, what was it for? for? For a test. This. So I'm going to grab it, bring it in, and that will be my, my sound. Wow, that's so f loud. Why is it so loud? Oh my god. F hell, man. Ooh. Why is it so freaking loud? Dude, that's so cool. Like I said, for one thing, the sounds on the TD50X are uh, way better than what I had on the TD17. Damn, son. That sounds so good. So this is what the kit sounds like without anything going through the monitor right here. And then... Dude, 
good. It sounds pretty fucking uh, sick. Fuck yeah, man. I'm all sweaty and shit. Not from actually playing, from just unpacking and setting all of this up. So, very exciting about this, you know. Maybe I can do some live streaming from here as well, you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm truly excited. I'm very happy to also start playing drums again because it's been, it's been a while, man. Now, I just need to clean up my mess. But that's okay. That's just how it is. That's part of the job. So, there you go. My little thing. Right ah! <laughs> what happened to my voice right there? Uh, what? Take a look. Did you see these drums? Uh, holy shit, man. I'm so happy about this drum kit right here. And you might ask, uh, Ola, you have a herniated disc. How can you play these drums? I can't. I can only play for like five minutes. And I'm gonna do that right now because I'm so happy. Uh, so, uh, actually, I have it hooked up to my audio interface right now. So we're gonna be able to hear uh, that I'm actually playing something. So I'm gonna take my wireless microphone and then I'm gonna grab this camera Hey, baby, let's go. Where do I place this camera even? Oh, over here, maybe. So I was thinking, you know, since I have this right now and uh, I'm actually starting to work a little bit with a drummer, you know, I figured maybe I can do some live streams in here with the drummer playing drums or me playing drums and we can jam, you know? How cool is that? Listen to that. I still haven't figured out how to, you know, set up this seating right here, but... <laughs> <laughs> that symbol chuck. No, but it sounds pretty f***ing sick, I must say. <laughs> yes! There you go. Anyways, super excited about this drum kit. And uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Stay tuned for a lot of cool shit with this, okay? Wait. Hang on. Who brought me this cup? I didn't have this cup before. Ha! Unboxing with Ola. The segment that... We just saw an unboxing of me doing this drum kit right here. But let's do another unboxing because I just received this little asshole right there. The Pod Express. I've only heard about it online, but I didn't think it was real, but it is real. It's right here in my hand. So I figured we would unbox it. And obviously I'm going to try and make a demo out of this thing. But uh, let's just unbox it and see what happens. I think this is such a cool product right there. Cheat sheet. Okay, cool. Okay, that's it. Look at that. And batteries. Ha, 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 ha. Batteries, batteries. Importing, by breaking the seal, you are agreeing to the terms of the end user license agreement. I don't agree to shit. I'm just gonna open anyways. All right, take a look at that. That's cool, man. Look at that. And dude, it's very lightweight. Holy shit. All right, let's plug in some batteries. All right, there we go. Like that. Look at that. That was such a short of an unboxing, I figured let's just fucking plug it in and just get a first impression or something. All right. One, two. Right. Right, left, here we go. Right, left, here we go. Okay, like that. Do we have a guitar cable? This is so pro. Obviously, I'm gonna try and make a real video out of this, but I figured let's just try and uh, make a shitty video first. <laughs> 
the fuck? I just really like the format of this. Take a look at how small it is, man. I guess it's like a... it's just like an updated pod, really. In a better format, it's not a kidney. Heavy, let's go heavy. Hell yeah, distortion. Okay. Also, boost. And I guess now, if I want to uh, change the gain, I press the Alt button. Do I hold it then? There you go. Obviously, I'm going to make a demo of this. Plug it in for real, you know, with uh, with the USB and all that, and control it for real. Because right now, I'm limited to these options that are on here, which are not few. I mean, with the Alt button, you can change ten different parameters, basically. And then you have different presets, obviously. I have to figure it out, but first little sneak peek. How about that? Let's go. I yeah. Uh, comment of a comment. The second. <gasps> <laughs> the hair is so important. <laughs> comment of a comment, everyone, is the section where me, as Ole England the YouTuber, I make a comment on one of your comments that you put in the down there <laughs> in the video the comment section. And uh, could be good comments, could be bad comments. We have a comment for today. What is it? Let's read from Johnny Robes, eleven ninety two, from last week's Swola. Well. Gotta unsubscribe. I know what that double cross t-shirt represents. And let's just say I'm sad that now he's gonna be lost forever. Still time to change, but I don't see that happening. Oh shit, look at that. Remember I said boner in the beginning? Oh, this microphone is not having a boner right now. It's pointing downwards from that comment right there, but I'm gonna fix it. What does the double cross t-shirt represent? Uh, from this guy, it seems that it might be something that's extremely dangerous and potentially uh, vile or something. Double cross. Okay, I gotta Google this, man. Is this a pro? I've, you know, this is the feared cross right there. There's nothing more to it. You know, my bad feared. I have a bad call feared. And also in Chinese, this is basically Earth. It's the. It's the. It means Earth. The sea will betray a person. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, Latin cross. The, the, does any one of these crosses make any sense? Thieves cross. Oh shit, yeah. Well, it's not. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> I I can't find this cross there. Just saying. But maybe he's just really scared of Earth, which you know is the Chinese symbol for. This is the Chinese symbol for Earth, and maybe he's just really, you know, really scared about Earth. Fear t-shirt. You can buy it from oldanglandshop.com. It has a cross like this, and I don't know if it's potentially satanic or something. It's just a fucking... People just make up things and then <laughs> assume things, too. And that, my friends, was Sun with Ola 183 for you right there. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Like I said before, you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel. Uh, you can buy this t-shirt, which I don't... I don't, want, I, I don't know what that guy thought it meant. It's, it's my band, you know? And also, you can get these because I'm looking so cool in these when I'm rocking out on the guitar. Th these are sweatbands, man, with the uh, Ola England logo on there, right there. How cool is that? Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. What's up? Bye. I mean. <laughs>